This podcast is sponsored by Magic Mind. What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and you are listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. Episode 163, Season 9. That's right, we are back at it again. And of course, I am joined today by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. You know him, you love him, sometimes. Mr. Wildfire One. Sometimes? (laughs) What in the fuck? I'm just kidding. Hey guys, I am Wildfire One, and... As good old Grizz has said, we are Nerds New Sex Entertainment, the podcast. Da, da, da. We, I think we talked about this, I think, what, in 161, uh, how we tend to kind of talk about movies at least once once a season. Once a season, we, we like to touch on a list of movies that are coming out throughout the year that we're kind of interested in seeing. Or that may have just caught our attention one way or another. Okay, we got a list in front of us uh, off of IMDb. Good old internet movie database. That uh, we, we, We've learned that this website is the most accurate and the safest for us to go off of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure that some of these are just like hearsay, as, as most movies go. And they're still in production or still talked about um but we're going to briefly go over the ones that kind of catch our eye and we'll go from there um and, and and mainly the ones that we've been that we've heard about that we're looking forward to for this year so let's let's go over this let's go over this i think the first one like i'm not really looking forward to this one but it's definitely one of those movies that eh, did something to people mean girls yeah i i mean with us both being guys it's not really our thing but I'm sure it's some guy's thing, but still, well, I'm sure. but it's just, it, I, it didn't hit me, but I'm sure someone out there will be like, Ooh, mean girls, you know, and like it. And I, okay. Uh, what about you, Chris? The one that I was kind of looking forward to that I've done a little bit of search into is the beekeeper. Um, okay. it's a Jason Statham. It's a hardcore action. Uh, he's just, a badass like he is in every every movie um but he's like the badass that all the badasses are afraid of hmm. he's the badass that all the badasses want to be it's yeah, a exactly. badass exactly that makes sense um some of these i've heard of night swim or at least i've heard of i think that's going to be a horror movie i could be wrong don't quote me on this uh oh yeah it looks like it's going to be a horror movie Family moves into a new home and aware that the dark secret from their house's past will unleash a malevolent, malevolent force in their backyard pool. Yeah, that sounds... Yeah, that sounds like a horror movie. Yeah, sounds like a horrible place to live. Right, right. Um, there's one I know that you're interested in. Yeah, that's Dune Part 2. See, I, I, we were talking about this earlier and I was like, wasn't there a Dune sequel already? Like what? And you explained to me that it wasn't a sequel; it was like still part of Chapter One or something. Yeah, that that was my understanding of it, anyways. I'm not I'm not a big Dune fan. I know people are gonna come at me with pitchforks and stuff, but Dune was never like maybe it was played too much when I was a kid or something. But the movie just never interested me. I thought it was fucking weird. Those guys with the fucking weird things in their nose and fucking planets with huge ass fucking <laughs> worms that come out you know that don't get me wrong there's games we play that i like that have that in it but uh, i don't know yeah. Gl- gladiator 2 yeah, so follow follows lucius the son of maximus's love lucila after maximus's death so i don't think the so, guy who played maximus is coming back oh no because he's dead yeah, or unless there's some flashbacks or something. Well, I mean, that's possible. But then the next one everyone is waiting for, and that's Deadpool 3. Deadpool 3. Wolverine uh, joins the Merc with the mouth. The, that, that's going to be a big one. I, I keep I, I, all over Facebook, because that's where I hear about that one. 
Like, oh, come on, Hugh Jackman's coming back as Wolverine. Right. Like, he's coming back, and Ryan Reynolds is going to be with him. It's good. It's going to be a fucking love story, man. And this is one that you'll probably like. Joker followed a do. It's a, a sequel to the 2019 film Joker. I watched that with Monster, the first one. And uh, I liked it. It was a really good movie for what it was. So here's one that we're both interested in, and that's Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earth. I'm in, I'm interested in it, but I know that somehow, some way, they're going to drop the ball. That's what yeah. I, the 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 Justice League movies and the um, the movies that have everything to do with DC just fucking suck. Like they even had they even had the Flash movie with fucking Michael Keaton coming back as Batman. And it's mm-hmm. still <laughs> fucking flopped, dude. It's still flopped. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? I, you know, I blame, what was his name, Ezra Miller? Well, like, how were they supposed to know at the time that he was going to get charged with all that shit after they had already started filming a majority of the film with him? I And I get that, and I understand. But that just that just ruined the movie. Um, I, I'm excited to see what comes out of justice league crisis on infinite earth part one especially because um they're talking they were talking about like basically just getting rid of wiping the board of all the old actors yeah so we'll see now the next one that we're both excited about is uh godzilla x kong the new empire yes it's Godzilla and Kong fighting side by side. Yeah, I remember seeing some of the, uh, like the trailers for that, or you know, there, there was some of those talking about it, and I was very interested in what I saw. Man, a Mad Max saga, Furiosa, yeah. Furiosa. My, I, 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 the origin story of Renegade Warrior Furiosa. Before her encounter with and team up with Mad Max. Okay, well, that just goes to show that I don't know much about Mad Max because I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, me neither. Nosferatu. Yes, this one uh, didn't even know it was, it was possibly coming out. And uh, we're looking through this list and Wild and I are both like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> it better be a good vampire movie. That's all I got to say. Like, yeah. <laughs> there hasn't been a good vampire movie out in a long time. Well, and then this next movie, uh, everyone is excited about. And that is Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Fuck yeah. Did you get to see the uh, the trailer for that? I did. It looks so good. I uh, My eyes rolled back in my head and I think I had a mini orgasm because... I, I didn't think Bill Murray would be back after the last movie. I think that was it. You know, I thought that was yeah. it. You know, uh, all you know, the other two, I I knew for a fact would come back because this is this is uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd's love child. You know, with Harold Ramis, yes. and uh, and Ernie Hudson just loves playing uh, Winston Zed- Zedmore. So I knew he was going to come back, and especially after the last movie, with the end, it showed. Uh, showed some some stuff that led up to this so and I, i'll tell you this much i didn't expect them to go where they went with this um the whole frozen empire thing i wasn't expecting i was i i wasn't expecting them to continue with zool because that was done right or go yeah. and the whole gozer zool thing that was all done so i i guess i i could see him doing something like i was actually honestly to be to be truthful with you, Grizz, I was expecting him to do something more along the lines of like with a cartoon, like the boogeyman oh, okay. or something. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? I thought, cause, cause there's things that in the movies that kind of like the ejector seat in the Ecto one, mm-hmm. there were things that were in the cartoon that kind of go like, Oh, Hey, the cartoon is Canon. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm excited. I fingers crossed. I'm hoping it's good. They've done so good. The last movie was amazing. But, you know, and we did a podcast on that. Go check that out. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, well, this one, it could really go either way. Um, Alien Romulus. Oh, yeah. 
Now the question is, is it going to be a good movie? Or do they let the franchise die? Because what? they're running it into the ground. I don't think they're ever going to let the franchise die. It's going to go into the ground like Terminator. Long after fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger's dead, there's still going to be like a Terminator 1000. And it's going to be like him, Schwarzenegger... With his voice, fucking AI, you know, and and it's he's it's all gonna be CGI, just him. And uh, I, I have a feeling that they're gonna do the same thing with with Alien. They're just gonna continuously run it into the ground. Don't get me wrong. Um, what was that? Prometheus was all right. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't any. It wasn't supposed to be an alien movie. So it was just kind of their origin story. Yeah. So, fingers crossed on that one, too, because I love Alien. Alien 1 and 2, Aliens, my favorite movies, some of my favorite movies of the 80s. Um, ranks right up there with Terminator 1 and 2. Uh, Lord of the Rings, The War of the Rohirrim. Yeah, we might. Are, I wonder if we're mispronouncing that. Ro- 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 Rohirrim. Rohirrim. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that's about the untold story of Helm's Deep. Hundred years before the, uh, was that fateful war? Assuming I'm assuming the the War of the Ring. Yes. Uh, it's retelling the life of the blood soaked times of its founder, Helm Hammerhand, the King of Rohan. Now this is my question: Are they going to go about this like um, Amazon Prime did, where they just didn't pay any attention to uh, what the book said? And just went about their own bullshit. Or are they going to actually go with what what the book said and, and stay canon? What do you think? It, it all really depends, I guess. Um, it could... Like, either it go good or it could go bad. Just, I'm really hoping it goes good because I love Lord of the Rings, but... I feel like that's going to be the uh, the theme for all this. Like, a lot of these movies, with the exception of maybe Deadpool and maybe a few others, the Ghostbusters movie, I think there are, is going to be like, eh, it could be good, it could be bad, we'll see. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a Bob Marley movie? Yes. No. It's a look at the legendary oh, no. reggae musician, Bob Marley, which um, I think I heard about that, too. Uh, vaguely? So I'm a little excited. I'm excited to hear about then maybe see that one because Bob Marley was an interesting individual. Well, then we got Kung Fu Panda Four. I wonder how many times Jack Black's gonna come back for this. Every time they pay him. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, he was Bowser. Now he's Kung Fu Panda. He was, you know, he, he, he was yeah. Kung Fu Panda first. He was Kung Fu Panda first. And I watched that movie, by the way. The the I finally watched the uh, Super Mario the Brothers. Super Mario Brothers movie, and he I I was like kind of cringy about him playing that. He did a good job. That's all I got. Yeah, I I knew from day one when I heard he was gonna do that movie that like there was gonna be a moment where he was singing and just ad libbing the stupidest lyrics, and I was right. And it worked out. So well, and it though. did, but that's Jack Black. That's his magic. That's what he does. He sh- he turns shit to music. Yeah, and, and he does it so and gracefully. He, yeah, that's why we love him. Okay, the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, I, I heard that they were gonna do more Planet of the Apes movies, but I, uh, it felt like it was gonna happen sooner. Like they're gonna happen more closer together. Do, hasn't it been several like? Almost like seven to ten years since the last movie yeah. came out. Well, this one is uh, many years after the reign of Caesar. A young ape goes on a journey that will lead him to question everything he's been taught about the past and make choices that will define the future of apes and humans alike. Okay. Beetlejuice 2. Beetlejuice 2. It's supposed to come out in 2024. Fingers crossed it still does. Uh, there's not even a picture for it on IMDb yet that we can see, but um, this is the follow-up comedy to the comedy Beetlejuice, 1988, about the ghost who's recruited to help haunt a home. The ghost with the most, babe. Well, I know when we were looking at this list earlier, this one kind of caught your eye. It's Lisa Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. And, um, 
a mm-hmm. coming of rage love story about a teenager and her crush who happens to be a corp. That's after not fucking he, that's not fucking weird. No, that's cool. After he set a uh, horrific circumstances bring him back to life, the two embark on a journey to find love, happiness, and a few missing body parts. Okay, I see where this is going. She is Frankenstein, and he is Frankenstein's monster. I can dig that. I can dig that. That's a cute love story. It might be. It it, it feels very, like... Necrophilia? <laughs> yes and no. Um, I was going to say it feels very Tim Burton-ish. And then the next one, I'm, I mean, it needs no introduction. This is going to be another one. This is going to be another one that I think is going to be good. Uh, even though Jim Carrey says he's not going to be in it. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, I don't even like Sonic. I'm not a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, but the first two movies were fucking amazing. They really were. Yeah, they like, really were. like, and I'm so glad we didn't get ugly Sonic. Yes, I'm so glad they redid that <laughs> Thank you, Internet. Thank you, everyone, for whoever whoever was in charge of that, for listening to us. That's that's what it's about. You're supposed to listen to the fandom, guys. Um, but I, I'm excited to see. I, I, I heard that Jim Carrey is retiring, so he's probably not going to be in this one. Yeah. Which is sad news, but you know what? Um, maybe we'll see a fat Robotnik. I know that's what Jim Carrey wanted. He wanted to be a fat Robotnik. But it would have been too much plaster or what have you. But uh, Or maybe he'll come back. Maybe he'll pull... Maybe he's pulling some bullshit and he's like, Ha-ha, I'm back, bitches! Like, um, like Mark Hamill did with the Joker at one point. And then, you know, the, the teenage kid in me just loves Inside Out. So now we're going to get Inside Out too. I've never it's seen a, the first one. It's so good. I, I got Disney Plus. I gotta watch it. I really you do. do. You you really do. It's really good. Not having kids, I think, takes its toll on me. I don't get to see certain things where I just don't have interest because of no children. No, the next one we did not know about. Oh yeah, it caught us off guard completely. We have not heard about. But we've played the game. I'm most excited about. But we played the game. We played the game. We played the game. And multiple variations of the game. Because there are multiple variations of the game. Borderlands. Borderlands. Motherfucking Borderlands. Film based on a popular video game set on an abandoned fictional planet of Pandora. Where people search for a mysterious relic. It's gonna be great. I think that um, if it's close to the, if it's even a little bit close to the actual like source material, I think it'll be great. I would love to hear the original voice actor of like Handsome Jack come back, like to play his character, reprise his role. What? Why are you making that face? So one of the stars. Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart. Oh shit. So you know uh, You know it's gonna be funny. Uh, you know it's gonna be good if Kevin Hart's in it. Kate Blanchett. Ariana Greenblatt. All comedians, I believe. Fuck yeah. I'm wondering who's gonna play Tiny Tina. <laughs> well you know there's there are a thousand people out there on tiktok that look and sound just like her and cosplayer so I, fuck man they got their own they got they got a billion people to choose from there's another one number 54 twisters yes the sequel to the uh 1996 film twister which i remember watching i think the biggest part of that movie that everyone talked about was the cow yeah. Oh, there's a cow. Hey, look, it's another cow. Mm. Oh, so Borderlands is supposed to come out August 9th. Okay. Oh, and here's one that we didn't even know or wanted to come out. 
Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. Was the first movie that good? I can't say I've never watched it. I kind of I kind of want to watch it just to see. But the uh, the commercials to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey just made me kind of like the trailers just made me like, oh, that looks stupid. Well, it kind of sounds like it's, I mean, Blood and Honey, almost like it's going to be a horror movie. It was a horror movie. Oh, yeah, it's going to, well, no. Oh, well, the first one was Christopher Robin. Yeah, the first one was was it was it was a horror movie. Well, I must not have watched the first one then. I doubt you did. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Then there's a. I guess they're having a remake of Roadhouse. Yes, they are. Uh, um, an ex UFC middleweight fighter ends up working at a rowdy bar in the Florida Keys, where things are not as they seem. Maybe it's not a remake. Maybe it's a. Maybe it's a sequel or or something else, or it might not even be have anything to do with the original because as they are not as they seem. Was the first one like that? He was a uh, he was a fighter. Okay, well we'll see. And it's looking like Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, could be interesting. Bad Boys Four. I feel like Bad Boys is going the direction of uh, the Fast and the Furious. Yeah, like I, I, it's not coming out with like a with like four fucking sequels every year, but it's it's there's a time to be like, okay, it's time maybe those guys need to just hang it up and and be like, okay, we're done. Especially especially with you know Will Smith's current career status. Yeah. So the next one is what. Transformers 1, the origin story, story set on Cybertron, home of both the Autobots and Decepticons. A, the film is said to focus on the relationship between Optimus Prime and Megatron. So that might be good, but we also know that the the, the live-action movies have kind of fizzled out. And then uh, the next one would be Despicable Me 4, which that's a good... Yeah. It's not bad. You can't, wrong, you can't go wrong with Despicable Me. Oh, no. You, really I, can. you know, that's where, that's where the uh, Minions came from. For those of you who don't know. So the next one uh, that we see that's interesting to us is uh, Beverly Hills Cop, Axel F. Uh, and it looks like good old Axel. Murphy's Ax back. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's <laughs> back, baby. Like, I'm excited to see this. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, but it, it I, I remember hearing about it. I thought I thought they were gonna do something on Netflix about it. Maybe they are still, I don't know, but this this looks like a movie. It's coming out in 2020 24, so it's got Eddie Murphy, mm -hmm. Joseph Gordon Lovett. Okay. Kevin Bacon. Kev good old Kevin Bacon. Not have the bacon. <laughs> Let me miss some bacon. So then there's the, after that, there's the Garfield movie, which um, I know Grizz isn't excited. I'm not really excited for either. I got to hear the voice actor that they got for him. And you, you Garfield has like a specific voice. You know what I mean? Like, Bill Murray, yeah. What's that? Bill Murray, yeah. It sounds just like, well, Bill Murray, the guy who played, played uh, Peter Vakeman in the cartoon of Ghostbusters, the same guy up until, up until Dave Coulier took over. Uh, but I guess the, I got to hear the voice of this and I, I mean, I didn't hate it, but it, you, you see something and you expect this, you expect Garfield to sound a certain way. And I was like, uh, so I'm not really interested. The first omen. Oh shit. Okay. This is, this, this looks like a prequel or a sequel to the omen, a horror movie based off, you know, Damien, uh, the son of Satan coming to earth and whatnot. So a young, a young American woman is sent to Rome to begin a life of service for the church, but encounters a darkness that curses her to question her faith and uncover terrifying, terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate. So that, that is definitely a prequel. Yeah. That is definitely a prequel or a sequel. Uh, because I mean, I, I, you never know, maybe Damien will come back for like the 50th time. You, you, <laughs> you never know, dude. You never know. You so, never know. and then there's the Venom sequel, untitled Venom sequel, as it says. Yeah. Here. 
No so, photo, no info, no nothing. No nothing. The, the one right below that has us both in trees. Yes, it has me scratching my chin. Mufasa, the Lion King. <laughs> Don't sue us, Disney. Tilda, having become king of the Pride Lands, is determined for his cub to follow in his paw prints while the origins of his late father Mufasa are explored. Let me let me ask you this. Is it gonna be live action? like Disney likes to do, or is it going to be animated like the old-fashioned good way of doing it? Animated. It's gonna, is that what you saw? Yeah. Fuck yes. It's an animation adventure drama. Thank you, Disney! Stop giving us fucking live action! We're tired of this shit! Your live action, like, movies suck! So, the stars are Seth Rogen. Okay. Aaron Pierre. Um, and Billy Eckner. Um, Horizon, the American saga. Uh, okay. Kind of pulls of a multifaceted 15-year span of pre- and post-Civil War expansion and settlement in the American West. That, there's a that possibility. something I would like. There's a possibility there. I mean, what about this one? Untitled Karate Kid movie. Right. Who doesn't love the Karate Kid? I, you know... Terrifier 3, um, Terrifier is a horror movie, if you guys aren't aware. Uh, and I know Grizzly's going to hate me for reading this one, but Art the Clown is set to unleash chaos on this uh, on the unsuspecting unsuspecting residents of uh, Miles County, count, County, words, as they peacefully drift off to the sleep on Christmas Eve. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah, you're not a fan. You're not a you're not a fan of uh, of clowns. Nope. And horror. Okay, well, how about this one? It's called Kneecap. It explores the birth of Kneecap, a hip and naughty Irish rap group. Hip and naughty Irish rap group. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would love to. I would watch that just to see the accents. Nope, there's another Saw movie. Oh, yeah. Saw 11. Yeah. Yeah. And st- the 11th installment in the Saw film series, which I'm going to be long dead. There's going to be still there's still going to be Saw movies. Oh, out. Yeah. No, this one kind of caught my attention. It's called War Chief. Okay. The group of guardians are tasked with protecting a messenger who must deliver vital information to their king hmm. on their journey through an ancient land, they face a battle filled with plagues, dark magic, and vile monsters. Sounds like a D&D campaign, if you ever ask me. Oh my god, it does. Like a good D&D campaign. Well, here's another one. The Wendigo. Yeah, I know that one was uh, caught your attention. Yeah. Well, anything Wendigo is fucking horrifying, right? So... Uh, the Native American teen uh, resurrects an ancient demon to protect his family from meth dealers. Okay, it's getting kind of funny now. Uh, but finds the creature bloodlust uncontrollable, forcing the family to break the curse before becoming its next victim. Here's one. Um, the Crow. The modern yeah. reimagining of the beloved character, The Crow, based on the original gra- uh, graphic novel by James O'Barr. And then, um, Badland Hunters, after a major earthquake transforms Seoul into an apocalyptic wasteland. Huh. Yeah, you know, to, to be an apocalyptic wasteland, you need to be focused. You gotta be real focused. You gotta know what you're doing, and you know what helps you focus? Magic mind. You know, I, I know in the last few episodes, we've, we've talked about, um, some ingredients that are in it. Yeah. You know, it's got uh, Bacopa Mineri. Yeah. Ma- Maneri. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Ma- it's... Maneri? Yeah, it's something like that. It helps, you, it helps your attention span. Um, it helps you take in new information. 
uh, helps you retain it. Well, that would make your memory. That would make sense because I've been having a lot of uh, a, a lot like I've been doing a lot better with my memory. And like I've said, it, words come a little easier to me as I as I speak, and, and all that helps. So I, that's probably some of it. I know we've talked about the matcha in it. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of matcha. It does, and you know. Go. Well, all I gotta go. say is if you like matcha a lot, staying up through the day. It helps a lot of. Yeah, it does help a lot. <laughs> it helps matcha. It helps a matcha a lot. Uh, and I mean, you, when you when you drink it, you can actually taste the matcha in it. Like it's it's it's. You can, and you know, from we had talked about it, especially after the first time we took it. None of us had tried matcha before. Yeah, it's it's definitely a and, new. It was a new we, experience. We we were trying to figure out what it tasted like, and. We knew that it was matcha because it was nothing that we'd ever tasted before. And the smell, like I'll I'll tell you, like when you open it, because you're supposed to you're supposed to drink it. You shake it, you let it you let it breathe, and then we I smelled it, and it smells a lot like a, like a citrusy drink. You know, I I don't know about you guys, but I have issues like sleeping all the time, and I, I've I talked about it in the last podcast and some of the yeah. other podcasts, or even when we talk about this. I have uh, insomnia. I suffer from insomnia badly. So oh, there's times yeah. that I don't sleep and I have to go to work and I have to be on the ball. I have to be like, just with the jobs that we have, we have to be thought, we have to think, we have to know with split second decisions. And uh, there are days I come to work and I'm just like, Ugh, yeah. why? And then, but lately after taking these, doing these shots, doing these magic mind shots, it's been a lot easier. I'll, uh, Someone will ask me something and I'll be on the ball. I'll talk to, I'll, I'll respond quickly. I'm not like, oh man, give me a second. Oh God. It's, it's so that really helps. It really helps in that situation. And see, and I don't feel uh, so tired um, like I do after having an energy drink mm -hmm. with this. Yeah, you don't get the drop. You don't get the. Uh, yeah, yeah, you don't get that, that fall from the caffeine. Yeah, that, yeah. And falling asleep when you get home, when you're, when the day is done. So much easier. It's, it's easy. It's not like you're not sitting there waiting like, oh, where's the caffeine going off? When's the caffeine going? It's comfortable. It's a, uh, and it's a good sleep. My, uh, my outlook on, on everything around me just seemed a little better. I was more, like we said, more focused, more prepared, more on the ball. It was really good. It was really a good experience. And, and taking these has been a good experience. Only this January. They help you gear up to crush your 2024 New Year's resolution fully focused. You get one month for free when you subscribe for three months at www.magicmind.com slash Jan, J-A-N, all capitals, lowercase N-I-T-N-S-E. And when you use our code N-I-T-N-S-E 20, you get an extra 20% off, which gets you to a 75% off. Now, this only lasts until the end of January, and it's, it's coming pretty quick. So hurry up before it's gone. You won't be disappointed, I can assure you that. We sure as heck weren't. What about, like, have you watched anything on Netflix that caught your eye recently? I've actually been going back on Hulu and rewatching anime, so... Well, I've I've been watching um, the One Piece. Oh, the what'd you anime, think? The, what the anime One Piece? Oh, okay. What'd you think? Did you because watch? I, I already watched the live action. What'd you think of the live action? No oh, good. I'm planning on doing a podcast on that oh, as well. Good. But oh my god, the live action was I was just like Yu Yu Hakusho was really amazing. One Piece though blew my mind. Blew my mind. It was so good. The Castlevania, the new Castlevania. Yeah, that came I, out I, was very good. Um, I, I watched watch that. that. I watched I that, and I watch that. <laughs> yeah, me too. I nerded out on that, and I fucking loved every minute of it. So well, that's because we we kind of have a, a vested interest in it. Not only did we love the game, but because of a prior podcast, yes, with a special guest that was a birthday uh, gift a few years uh, back. That was a lead animator on the show. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, 
just this, this this series is still not disappointing as far as no, Castlevania it, goes. It, it's really not. And we'll have we'll have a whole podcast on that in the future too, guys. That, that on the new season, I'm excited. It kind of the only thing I, if I'm I'm complaining about anything, it's kind of dropped off on a point where you're like, God damn it, what's next? Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to get a hold of us, check us out. Give us an idea. Talk to us. Are we right? Do you hate us? Let us know. You can call us at 559-997-6803. Again, as Grizzly says, 559-997-6803. Give us a call. It's a voicemail, but you can still talk. You'll, you'll hear my voice. I'll be like, hey, press one if you want to see me naked. But uh, yeah, jo- or we got our Discord. We got we got a Twitch. We have a Kick. We have a TikTok. We have all the social medias. You have a YouTube's, which is where this is coming out. We have uh, the podcasts. Uh, we have Spotify. We're on. Oh Jesus Christ! All the social medias. It's a social media frenzy, guys. And you can join us. You have questions for us. You want to talk to us. You want to meet us. We're, we don't bite, I swear. Grizzly might. Uh, Ghostly Killer definitely bites. He's got uh, he's got rabies, but uh, yeah, that's why that's why we don't see him often. He's out there. <laughs> he's he's in his closet. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys. With that said and done, we're gonna end the podcast. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Until then, we want you to stay nerdy and stay sexy. Always. Always.